okay so it means that the new update has been flashed properly great you got the prompt as well successfully updated to 11 underscore a.50 hi everyone realme has been pushing out quite a lot of updates for the realme 3 pro and since these updates are rolled into batches it's quite possible that your friend's phone may have it rather than yours or are you one of those who are not able to update automatically your realme device then this is the video for you in which we'll tell you how to manually update your device the update is there on the realme website we'll download that and we'll tell you the entire process even more important is the fact that please do take notes as to the steps that we'll tell you because they are very important and should be performed carefully. Last but not the least, we really don't want you to wait for these updates since they are online available. You simply have to download them and flash them rather than asking for help on the Twitter because I could see clearly people are lining up on the Twitter and asking Realme support team to help them with the update of the software. I could see people directly messaging the IMEI number. I'm not sure after that what happens. So need not to worry. This is the video. Have a look into it. On that note, my name is Harjot. You are watching For Love of Gadgets. Thank you for all the love you have given so far. Keep us blessed like that and do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon as it really motivates and helps the channel to grow. Comment and let us know your thoughts, your queries. Like the video, share it with your friends and family and do share your feedback which we always try to incorporate as and when we could and keep that at the back of our mind. On that note, let's start. So let's start the process of updating a Realme device manually. In this case, we have Realme 3 Pro. I'll quickly check the existing version of this. I'll go to settings and I'll go to about phone and I can see that over here it's 11 underscore a dot 14 which is not the latest one there's another one that has come and it's at the end saying 1515 I'll just go back and make sure you have at least 40 to 45 percent of battery in some cases it's recommended that the phone will only update if you have minimum 30% of battery. So it's good that if you have 45% battery at a minimum because as you will be downloading this patch as well and in case you are using your mobile network then it will consume battery. So make sure you have good battery. In our case it's at 92%. Now, as a good practice keep on checking online for the latest updates because automatically at times it is delayed because of it being launched in batches. Now since we know that R is on dot 14, let's quickly check on website if there is a new update to it or not. For that I'll launch Google Chrome. Once that is done, either you can click on this icon which is already preset to take you to the Realme website or you can simply type Realme and you'll get like this realme.com. Just click it. Now since I was already there, that's why it was showing, else you have to type it realme.com or Realme India, it will take you to this page. Once here, you could see these two horizontal bars just tap on it and you can see support you have to click on support once you click on support you have to scroll up and you'll see software upgrades click on it after clicking on software update you scroll down it says please choose your version and since we've got realme 3 pro this is will stick to now the best thing is that you can see the version here so you can clearly identify this is the latest one. You have the update log as well which is again great thing which Realme is doing by providing the information here as well. Now you can see what all updates are there. The one that I'm most interested in the 240 FPS slow mo function. I'll X out of it. Now you can see the size as well it's almost like 2.7 GB right. So that's there. Now we need to click on the download button and when we do that there would be two things that may happen. One, it may ask you for a location and two, it may not. If it asks you for a location, wherever you save it, do remember it because when we'll flash it onto the phone, we need to access that location so that we could reach out to the software update file. If not, it would generally be gone into the download folder. In this case, since it has not asked for the same, it's going into the download folder. So let this download finish and then we'll flash it and we'll tell you the next steps. So be right back. Okay, so the download is 100% complete. Let's check the file. And it's 2.70 GB. 
So it's a zip file if you see. Now let's try to flash it. Now keep in mind that as you mentioned the battery should be way above 30%. And when you are flashing this, once it starts updating the phone, please do not press any button. Alright, on that note, I'll quickly move out of this folder. And I'll turn the phone off. As the phone is off, when it comes to turning it on, we would need to press the volume down button and the power on button simultaneously. One, two, three. Let's see what happens now. Okay. As you can see, we are now into the recovery mode. We'll tap on English and it says, these are the options that have been given to you. Now you have to click on install from storage device, from phone storage, downloads, and there it is. I'll just tap it. Installation package, this operation can not be undone. So I'll click on OK and there you go. It says estimated time remaining 2 minutes. I'm sure you might have uh, found it very easy. I mean seriously it's very easy it's just that you download the package and flash it. Now during this process please make sure you don't press any button. Installation successful, I'll click on reboot. So as you can see, we have got this option which was not there, which says add swipe gestures from both sides. I just click on it. Okay. So it means that the new update has been flashed properly. Great, you got the prompt as well. Successfully updated to 11 underscore a.15. So let's see if the option to record 240 FPS slow motion video is added or not. So I'll go into the camera module now. And under video, perhaps I'll click on these tabs and slow mo. And yes, 240 is there, you can see carefully. So we are good to go, we'll once again go here and we'll go to about phone and there you go. So this is how you'll be updating the Realme 3 Pro or any Realme device and I'm sure that you would have found the steps fairly very simple. On that note, let's quickly come to the conclusion. So friends, wasn't that easy? It's a time consuming process but then trust me it's really easy. Just make sure that you have enough battery, you have enough space in the phone, you have enough time and great internet speed. Once you are flashing it, make sure you don't press any button else the phone will be bricked. On this note, if you have any query, do let me know and this is something you can do for any Realme device. This, these steps are not pertaining to Realme 3 Pro only, remember that. So friends, wasn't that very easy? Now, just keep in mind that you don't have to wait for anyone to help you with this. This is a fairly easy process, just understand it. You don't have to tweet anymore. Just check timely if there's any update and then download it and flash it onto your phone. Make sure you have enough time, great net speed, space and also when you're flashing it, don't press any button else the phone will be bricked. So friends, this is Harjot signing off. Please do subscribe the channel as it really helps and keeps us motivated and helps the channel to grow. Do like the video, share it with your friends and family, comment us and let us know if you have any query or how did you find the process. Last but not the least, please share your feedback as it really helps. Take care. God bless you. Jai Hind.